What is up guys, this is Streak here and welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make flames in Photoshop. So right now we've got um, my logo and then it's surrounded by a really really cool sort of flamey outline and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make that. So let's just start off with how to do it with text. So all you have to do is make text is select the text tool, drag and then type whatever you want, okay? So I've got um, a letter over here and all you have to do is right click the text layer and select create work path what that does is it creates an outline around the text then you create a new layer down here select filter render and flame and what that does is it will pop up a new window it's looking something like this make sure it's on multiple flames along paths because any other option ends up kind of like that so select multiple flames along path and just mess around with the settings until you've got something that you know you're pretty happy with so I'm just gonna make this a bit thinner and then what you can do is select to use custom color for flames because obviously the flames are yellow and these are yellowy orange and the text is blue so now you can go into here and you can do whatever color you want so you can select it using the color wheel or you can use the eyedropper tool go over the text and then close the window and you get that color so now if I press OK, it will take some time to generate, but when it does, you'll see that you get a really, really cool flame outline around the text. Just press Escape twice to get rid of the work path, and then um, you can click the eye down here to hide that layer. So, that's cool in itself, but we want to make it really stand out. So I'm going to make the background black again, okay? And I'm going to double click this uh, layer and do outer glow and just give it a nice outer blue glow, which will really make the flames pop. So let me just turn down the opacity here. Just, you know, just mess around with this, do whatever you want. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how you make flames with text, okay? So that looks really cool, okay? So we've got like a nice, so you can clearly see the text, you can clearly see that. Um, and you know it's just surrounded by a really nice flame so that's how you do it with text now now let's move on to how you do it with images so I'm gonna move over to my logo right here I'm gonna make the background white again so you can see it a bit better and turn up the opacity right so here's my logo and I want to give it a flamey outline so this is a bit different because it's not a text layer so you create a new layer and you select the pen tool which is like this fountain pen nib right here and now you click click again and that creates a straight line but if you want a curved line you click again and drag and then you can sort of like position it however you want and what that does is it creates a work path but it's sort of more manual now so you have to go around the image now you can just stop right there and then just do flame um, if you want but I want to go all the way around the logo so I'm going to go around this and if you've done one curve then it may look a bit weird so just press alt and click on the last point you made and I'll put it back to normal so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go all the way around the logo and you know just create a work path right guys so I am done creating the work path as you can see it didn't take me that long but obviously I, I sped it up for you guys so yeah that um, once that's done um, you go to filter, render, flame, same old, same old. Um, and ignore this warning thing, that just means that in the preview it may not show the entire flame. So as you can see there's a bit missing there, but that does not make a difference in the end. So I'm just gonna, um, that's pretty good settings right there, um, I might make it a bit thinner. And now I'm gonna take off use custom color because I want like the default colors. Now if you press OK, again it'll take some time to generate, but um, and it'll take even longer this time because it's a larger image or a larger area for the flames to generate but when it does as you can see it'll create a nice flame outline around the thing so if I just do uh, X escape twice and now all I have to do is sort of minimize this layer right here and we're just left with this I mean I could just make the opacity like 20 or something um, and let me just make the background black again and now if I give it another outer glow, but this time orange, 
which would make the flame stand out a bit more. So yeah, there we go. That's how you make flames in Photoshop. Now, just keep in mind that this does not work on all versions. So I'm in CC 2017, as you can see at the top, and it works in CC 2014, 15, um, it's not in CS6, I'm pretty sure, so make sure you're in the right version of Photoshop because I don't want you guys to be really confused when you don't see this flame option right here. So yeah, that's pretty much how you make flames. As you can see, it creates a really, really nice effect. And yeah, that's pretty, pretty much how you do it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Comment down below what other tutorials you'd like to see with Photoshop or even Blender. Um, I'm sure I can do that for you. But yeah, um, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really means a lot to me. Thanks for watching. My name is Streak and I'll see you in the next video.